We actually want to go all the way back to the beginning now because there was actually two paths. Oh, oops. I meant to use warp, not teleport. Oops. Whoopsies. Oh, well. You get to watch how much faster I can walk through this area now that I freaking can run. Look how much faster I can go through this now that my freaking frame rate isn't going two seconds. I'm um, like two seconds a step, two seconds a step, two seconds a step. Look how much faster this teleport was. It's way more psychedelic when it's actually in the speed that it's supposed to be in. It was going so slow. It took me like ten minutes to teleport there last time. The first time, I should say. It's ridiculous. I don't even understand what was going on. What was going on? Any hoozle. So now that we're back on the lunar subterrain, I believe we gotta go south right here. And we're going through this door. Into this doorway. Now we're on B2 again. And I believe we can go through a wall over here somewhere. Oh, this wall. Duh. We can get this treasure, maybe. 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 Can we get this treasure? Flame whip. Now the flame whip, we're probably not going to equip just because it's not really necessary. Because we're trying to equip or because we're trying to keep her magic high. We don't care about Rydia's attack, really. We really don't. Um, yeah, so we got the flame whip. Um, we want to go more north, I believe. Yep, just keep going north. We want to go this way. Do we I don't get the treasure first? Why not? Dragon shield, awesome. We'll be equipping that henceforth to Senor Kane. Wait, Genji. Wait, he has a whole set of Genji stuff? Oh, that's right. That's right. Ignore my surprise. I forgot when I got him back, he had all Genji stuff. Okay, so we're going down this way. Um, yeah, here we go. We're going the right way. Don't worry about me. See, now we're going to get a whole new set of armor for, for Kane up in this bitch. He's going to have a whole set of dragon armor. Now, do we want to keep going through the wall here? Yeah, yes we do. Here's a bone dragon. Uh, I think we fought one of these back on, or in the Lair of the Father, back when I got Bahamut. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And so we'll just fight one, just to show that, just to prove that all the enemies I am fighting here are from the Lair of the Father. We're just fighting big Mega Man robots, bone dragons, those black wizards, or black whatever they're called, and the moon maidens. That's literally all I've fought since I've been here. I know that the later floors, meaning like when I get down to the seventh floor, that's when we're really gonna start fighting some new enemies. And when I mean when I say enemies, I mean like some some enemies, like for show. There's some dragon mail for you. Almost got that full set of armor for Kane. And there's the gloves. So now we literally have a full set of dragon armor. And eventually we're gonna get him a new lance. And so he'll be fully all all fully equipped with brand new awesome dragoon armor it'll be fantastic so now that we got all that armor now where are we going uh, I think we're just going up these stairs and now we're on the fourth floor hooray so we're going east let's go east down here um, keep going east yeah there's some arrows over here duh Artemis arrows those are pretty strong oh some gold dragons there's a new enemy for you I didn't think we were gonna run into anything new honestly um, in fact, I think this is a brand new enemy completely. I don't think I bought this anywhere else. So it's nice to finally see something new. Although it's just a sprite change of stuff we have fought before, so it's really not that amazing. Um, definitely need to cure Aga on everybody. What would a gold dragon be weak to? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and use some blizzard on him or something. I don't even know, honestly. I don't even know. Looks like they like to use thunder. But that doesn't really mean that they're Thunder Base. And even then, Thunder Bases don't really have a weakness. Elemental weakness, I should say. So, you know, you can use whatever you want on them as long as it's not Thunder. But who knows? They're just gold. They're gold dragons. Let's kick their ass. Sea bass. It's kind of annoying that Edge and Kane can't even go right now. But hey, as long as I'm not getting any damage, I don't really care that much. Keep Lizagaing. I don't want to waste up too much of my MP on these random battles. Because we are trying to conserve as well as we can. I'm trying to do this whole dungeon in one trek without having to back out and buy new items and heal and all that. I want to try and get through this whole dungeon in one like walkthrough. 
so to speak. So now that we're at another, we're at another crossroads, left or right, left or right. We're going to go this way first. I think there's going to be something over here. Wait, do we go in the door? We do go in the door. There we go. Elixir! I'm Elixir Lava! It seems like I'm always singing that song near the end of the game. Elixir Lava! In case of emergency! You can use your elixir on me! Sorry. Quite a long pause there. I didn't know if there was going to be a new enemy or not. For some reason, even though my frame rates are faster, the loading times is even slower. I suppose I can live with the slower loading time as long as I don't have to go through a 10 minute battle against one enemy. It's freaking ridiculous. That's a silver dragon, which is clearly a lot easier than the gold dragon, which, does that really surprise you? Anywho, we're into a new door. Still on the fourth floor, though. That's all good. Is there walls in here that we need to go in? Hold up. Um, no, wait, there's a fork here. Uh, yeah, we want to go this way first. Duh. You know, if I would just look up at the screen instead of my notes, I would see that there was a treasure chest right there, dummy. Whoa, what the fuck? Little murderer. Oh shit, son. Watch out for the little murderer. Now, I'm pretty sure what he does is he keeps casting lightning, lightning, Libra on himself, and he says he's weak to lightning. So if you actually use lightning on him, uh, he tricks you. He's basically trying to trick you into using lightning on him. Best way to do it, though, just attack. Just kick his ass. Don't even give him a chance to, like, see what he really does. And it looks like I need to put some new arrows on Rosa, because she's out of whatever arrows I had on her. That's cool. I can do that right after this battle. I think I want to use a couple high potions on some some people in my party as well. Because seriously, I don't think this guy does anything if you just attack him. Like, we're about to find out. I honestly don't recall him doing anything but Libra. Which will be quite nice. Which will be quite nice. Yep, see, he didn't do shit. All he did was cast Libra on himself. So let's equip Rosa with some new arrows. Um, Let's give her the Medusa arrows. Those sound, those sound formidable, don't they? Do they not? No, we're not using a freaking X potion right now. One on Rosa. I mean, Rydia. A couple on him. And we're good for now. We're good for now. We'll, we'll be needing to heal up when we get to another battle or something. But for now, we're good. For now, we are good. Still on B4. Monster in a box! What do we got? We got a behemoth. Holy crap. Now, what was our strategy against behemoth before I get it going? Um, shit. Do I attack? Attack. Jump. I forgot what my strategy was against these guys. Uh, they did something that was really annoying. Oh, I wanted to make sure I had... Not reflect. Um, I remember now. Blink. That's what I want. Blink. I was trying to remember what the hell was my strategy against these guys last time. Um, they're going to be a lot easier than last time. Probably because I've gotten stronger and better weapons and stuff. And I have a lot more HP and all that good stuff. So I'm pretty sure if I just attack, I'm okay. I'm pretty sure the reason why we casted Blink before was because they hit too hard for me to withstand. Kind of thing. And I was probably like 10 levels ago. Like, my characters were a lot weaker then. I'm pretty sure we can handle this guy without too much difficulty. I honestly did not even mark this freaking chest. Why didn't I mark this chest? Whatever. I'm not tripping. I'm just surprised that my notes don't say anything about this chest. And if they do, I'm just not seeing it. I don't even know what this chest is going to have in it. I'm kind of excited to find out. To be honest. Because I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> Not even paying attention. Sorry, I just took like a quick look at my notes and I'm like, what the hell, man? Why aren't you attacking, stupid? Yeah, got his ass. Tis nothing. Sweet, we learned Tornado. We got the Stardust Rod, huh? Wow, why don't I even have that on my notes at all? What are my notes doing? Seriously, what the fuck? I wonder if that's gonna like up my uh, does it up my magic better than what I already have? Let's find out. Well, my attack is better. Let's just assume that my magic is better with that on. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it. Why the hell not, right? Go out on a limb and just say that the newer rod is probably the better one, even though there's a possibility of being wrong. 
I'll take it. So let's hit the stairs and here. Wait, what floor is this? B5. We're on B5, right? I think for some reason my notes just accidentally missed that one chest. Oh well, my notes are making sense now. So if we go up to this chest, we're gonna get another monster in a box. Oh no! What's gonna be in this chest though? Is it gonna be a blue and a red? Oh my load. Now this shouldn't be too difficult. You just have to know that each one is a different element, so you can't do an attack all with a certain element. Uh, you do want to keep an eye on your HP because these guys will hit hard and they'll hit fast. Definitely. Um, yeah. Keep an eye on your HP. And I'm going to go ahead and just use Bahamut. Bahamut seems to be the way to go pretty much all the time. Bahamut is probably the most useful summon spells, period, whatever you get in this game. To not get him like at all, basically skipping over his dungeon and not getting him, is pretty much not a good idea. Because without, without Bahamut, you cannot, you have almost no chance of hitting 9999 unless the enemy is completely weak to, this, weak to the element that you cast on them. Like if I did fight Firaga on the blue dragon right now, it might do 9999. But if I use Bahamut, I know it could do 9999. There's no elemental worries there because he's a non-elemental spell. So Bahamut is just all out awesome. You're going to be seeing me use him a lot between now and the end of the game. Just all the fucking time. Because without him, the battles would take forever. Still doable, don't get me wrong. But they would take forever. Because I'd have to find like alternative strategies where I use different spells to do damage. And have to always like heal and come back from almost dying all the time. So just having Bahamut saves time, and for an LP, that's exactly what you want. So for that, we get a Crystal Shield, which is probably going to be better. Oh, is it going to be better than a Genji Shield, though? Guess so. Guess so. We need to heal it all. We need to heal Edge a little bit after that. That was I won't hurt Edge a little bit, but we're all good. Edge is just kind of a weak defender, but he's all good. So let's go in this door right here. And in here, I'm going to go through the wall and get another treasure. Protect ring. Now, is that any good? Does that go on only one specific person, or can that go on anybody? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Put the Medusa arrow back on. Protect ring. Resistance against fire, ice, and lightning. Um, yeah, we'll just put it on Rosa. That sounds like a good idea, actually. That seems to be probably the perfect person to put it on, actually. Really can't think of anybody better to put it on, maybe Rydia, but Rosa's more necessary because she needs to be the healer all the time. Is there more treasure in here? Yeah, down here there's some more treasure. More treasure out here on the limb. Out here on the ledge. Oh, another monster in a box. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a mother treasure. Oh, man. Another Bah uh, Bahamut. Behemoth. You son of a bitch. You sons of bitches. Whatever. Like I was stating last time, the behemoths aren't so bad once you've learned how to fight them and be careful and heal up. and They're definitely not as bad as they are in later Final Fantasy games where they like to, right when they die, they'll cast Meteor or Comet or whatever. Oh my god. Those are probably the worst games that Bahamut is. Or, I keep calling them Bahamut. Behemoths. The worst Final Fantasy behemoths are the ones that cast freaking crazy ass spells when they're about to die. Or when they do die. Like, they'll cast it when they die. So you could potentially get a game over and kill the enemy at the same exact time. It's fucking bullshit is what that is. So, I guess in these earlier games they had mercy upon you. And the behemoths aren't quite as hard as they are in later games. Or maybe they just decided since behemoths were so hard in the earlier games. Let's make them ridiculous in the later games. Like, so hard that there's like, fuck you in the ass. So hard. Just so hard. Just so hard. It's like the only word that's coming to mind. So hard. This game is so hard. It's like the hardest game in all of the hard games ever. We're getting so hard right now. So hard. Like my pet would. I am so hard. It's so hard. Got some crystal mail for our victory. We're gonna equip it onto Cecil C. He's gonna heal us now because he's got some crystal mail. Ah! Alright. Now we're gonna go keep... Uh, 
go and oh, I think we're gonna go back. Oh yeah, we're gonna go back inside because we're gonna go back into that door we walked right by. Door, doors right above her, right her. Going her and northeast. Yep. There's another treasure with another monster. Oh no! My monsters! My monsters! Ah! 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 What are we gonna fight this time? I don't even know. Oh, two red ones this time. A, 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 B. All right, so this time, since they're both red, since they're both red, let's go ahead and Blizzarga. Oh, no, you know what? Let's go. Oh, I have no MP. All right, well, we're definitely going to use Blizzarga then because we have no MP. Whoops, I did not mean to only do it on one. Whatever. If it doesn't do 9999999999, it better do some 999s. Otherwise, I'm going to be 999 disappointed. Anyway, so the reason why I, you know, stocked up on some ethers and stuff is for this particular reason. So Radia can kick ass and still be able to keep kicking ass without me having to find a save point. I'm pretty sure in this entire dungeon there is maybe one save point and it's like near the end. And I'm not even 100% sure on that after I say that. So don't quote me on that. There might not be any save points here. To be honest, I don't recall. Because if there is one, I don't know where it is. And if, like I said, if there is, it's probably near the end. Or like, close to the, like two-thirds of the way through. I'm kind of trying to browse my notes real quick, but I'm now I'm getting my ass kicked. You know, let's use Osmos. Save some MP healing items and use some Osmos. Why not, right? Conserve as much as we can by using spells to kick ass. Oh, one. Seriously? That's why Osmos is just unreliable. As cool as Osmos is very unreliable so it looks like we're gonna get us our whole uh, crystal armor set all we're missing now is the helmet which most likely is coming up next seeing as how that's how the dragon armor happened the dragon armor we got real quick the crystal armor we're about to be done with already oh, okay so now that we got the crystal gloves we want to go to the west to the west to the west side to the west side to the door we want to go in here and kill the whore. There's no whores in here. Oh, well. White robe. Oh, white robe. Um, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Or did I, is it? No, that's what I thought it was. Never mind. Wrong. That is correct. We're going the right way. I thought maybe I skipped over the helmet. Because, you know, it seemed like the helmet should have been next, right? I'm pretty sure the chest is up here. But before we open it, I'm going to go ahead and use a couple ethers on Rydia. Just so she has some MP. Because we could use it right about now. Seems how we only like none left. Holy crap. Like we haven't fought. This is a random battle in this place. It's so difficile. Muy difficile. Wait, Dino Zombie? Never mind. We didn't fight that here, did we? We fought the purple one. We did not fight this one. This is new. Um, what am I doing? I should definitely kill the Dark Sage in the back so she can't piss me off. That's probably a good idea. Definitely a good idea. Um... Yeah. Let's go ahead and use Firaga on this guy. Wait, he's got flames around him, though. Please tell me Firaga actually hurts the dino zombie. Like I'm imagining it will. Because if it doesn't, that sucks. I don't know why I don't use Jump more with Kane. Because Jump actually does more damage, even though he moves a little bit slower. He still does more damage, and it puts him out of harm's way. I should just use Jump every turn, to be honest. It is my favorite thing about Dragoons, too. Yeah, he is weak to fire, bitchin'. My favorite thing about Dragoons is the fact that they do their jump attacks, because their jump attacks are just so cool. They're just so cool. So cool. That Dino Zombie wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And that completes our equipment set of crystal. And now, Mr. Cecil is all equipped with crystal armor and Excalibur, which you would think Excalibur is the best sword in the game. But is it? We're going to find out soon enough. Before we go in here, let's go in here and get us a Red Fang. Red Fang! Okay. I think we want to just hit the stairs right outside here. I don't know what's up the stairs to the east, but I'm going to not worry about it. In here, we got some more treasures. So let's get these new treasures. Some more arrows. And another Fuma Shuriken. Yay. Now what? Uh, we're gonna go left first. Get us a cottage. And then we wanna go back up, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty much dead end down here. Or actually, there's. We can go right 
here or something? Okay, never mind. Let's just go across and fucking see what's over here. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go in here and see what's inside. We're still on B6. Um. Monster in a box! Okay, I don't even know what the hell this is gonna be, to be honest. Uh, my notes. Uh, I just don't. I'm gonna stop talking about my notes and just fight the battle. And find out what the hell this treasure chest is. Because I do have a monster in a box on my notes. But I don't know which one it is. I'm a little lost in terms of where I am. Uh, yeah, I really am. I'm kind of hoping that this is... I don't know. I'm not going to panic or nothing. I'm just going to freaking find out. Now, what I might have to do... Based on what I get out of this treasure chest, we'll find out. Minerva Bustier. Okay, we definitely want to go back then. Because, yeah. 